All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol RKT, Rocket Companies, Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first-time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back, and let's jump into this chart. So Rocket Companies, Inc. has actually broken through support, but it's been in a bearish trajectory since the 14th. It's actually been falling down, and that is something that is concerning due to the fact that it actually has been very volatile as well on the way down. I mean, it jumped up, broke through the resistance, it looked like it was working its way up, and it only lasted an hour and a half, and quickly by the two hour mark, the bears appeared and started to tear this down, bringing it down to newer lows. So it's kind of hung out in a sideways direction. I mean, it's only a little bit below where it was previously. I'm talking about maybe 20 cent difference all the way down in this area and then it dropped a little bit more so now it's almost like a 30 to 40 cent difference from where it was at, at before this run and then on its way down so it's kind of moving sideways in a slight drop now the 50 day moving average is what lets us know on what side of the chart we're in and currently the 50 day moving average is 22.47 we're currently below that at 21.81 and anywhere above that means that the bulls have started to gain control and they're on their way to gaining possession over this chart to hit newer highs and newer resistance levels. But as of right now, the bulls tried to do that and they lost quickly control. I mean, it fell right back down and it hit newer lows. So we're going to look at what's important for tomorrow and also move our supports and resistance levels to their new location. So support is really close to the closing price. I mean, it was almost the lowest price reached in the day the closing price but it missed it by a couple cents and we're going to move our resistance as well to our new locations it's the highest point before this last dip and then we're going to talk about this a little bit broader as i've always stated if it breaks through 18 dollars and 30 cents this could be well on its way to newer lows and the closer it gets to the lowest point after this bullish run and then bearish run afterwards the lowest point was up here at 1940 if it breaks through that this could be well on its way to newer lows reaching this low and if it breaks through this it would hit newer lows but right now rocket companies has had a slight recovery but you can see the tug of war going on day after day week week by week that it's actually running up falling down running up falling down now what i'm seeing is that it's holding itself up so the lowest point reached in this whole entire sideways movement after this bullish run is down here. So right now in a more narrow spectrum, the most important support level is up here at 2143. And the highest point reached in this whole entire trajectory and having a bullish recovery is 2409. So that's an important number for the bulls. This is an important number for the bears. And this is an important number just to let you know if this is hitting newer lows and working its way to newer support levels. And this is going to tell you if this is going to hit newer resistance levels and newer highs. But let's narrow down and see what's important for Monday. So again, 50-day moving average is 22.47. We're below it. The bulls want to break through that. But before breaking through 22.47, they need to break through the first resistance level. And that is 22.08. Turn that into a support and break away from it, hitting newer highs, newer resistance levels, and getting closer to the 50-day moving average. Super important for the bulls to break through it, turn it into a support, and work their way up. This does not signify that the bulls have gained control. This is just an indicator for us investors to know in which direction this is heading, and if the bulls turn 2208 into a support and start to build momentum, that's a good sign that they're working their way towards the 50-day moving average to then cross it. Once they cross 2247, then the bulls are starting to gain control. But until then, the bulls have no control, and it's good for them to start to work their way up. And it could show us that there's momentum, but quickly the bears can try to reappear and tear this one down as we saw it happen here. All right, so that's very important to keep a very close eye on how the stock is behaving. But before... The bulls can get anywhere up here they need to break through 2208 and turn that into a support now we're a lot closer to the support level after closing at 2181 our support level 
which was the lowest point reached in the day, was 2179. 2179 is super important because if that gets broken through, that just signifies that this is getting further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction and giving more control to the bears. So I want to emphasize to all investors, pay very close attention to how quickly this breaks through it and how quickly is it hitting newer lows and newer support levels because if it's actually plummeting pretty fast, even if the bulls reappear, they have to come in hefty and strong, even from this point or anywhere below it or close to it, to bring themselves up and cross this 50 day moving average. And before getting there, they need to cross the resistance level. So the lower this goes, the harder it is for the bulls to come back up. So one important thing is pay very close attention to the behavior of this stock if it crosses this support of 2179. How quickly is it hitting newer lows? Who's dominating the chart? Put your one minute, your five minute, your 15 minute charts so that you can see who's dominating the outflow and the inflow and see for yourselves. I hope that with these cues and these indicators, you guys will be well equipped for Monday's trading day. And as always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications to not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. In that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points on scheduled dates. In those scheduled dates, the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets. And what does that mean for us as investors if the S&P 500 index is rising? Well, within the S&P 500 index, there's individual ticker symbols and they're rising up with it. That is something that a lot of investors are overlooking and not seeing and the charts are showing them for themselves. And on these dates, I go ahead and I break it down. So check out the video. I go into more detail about it. But these ticker symbols are rising up anywhere from 30 cents to three dollars per share and i know it doesn't sound like a lot per share but that does add up like i always say if you put a dollar into the market and you got back two dollars you've done a great job because that's what we're all here for to put an in investment and get back more than what we put in so becoming profitable like i always say profits are profits is a great way to start becoming a better investor and this is a strategy that doesn't guarantee you profits. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold. I'm just here to inform all investors on the great news that there's an opportunity for as long as the Federal Reserve continues to pump the markets and as the market is acting, right? Because there's a lot of turbulence, whether it goes down or it goes up, that there's an opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click on the video. It should be popping up soon. And let's make some money.